Hi, if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how note taking can improve the performance of interviewers in less than a day. My name's Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of Smart Wisdom, the scientifically proven next generation note taking technique. I've been helping people manage knowledge and information in the workplace for the last 20 years. So how can something as simple as note taking, because it's not very interesting activity, but how can something as simple as that be so transformational for people who are interviewing? And actually it's really simple, the answer, yes, incredibly powerful. Because in essence, what we're trying to do as interviewers is manage knowledge. That's it. Now we can sit and listen, um, but we know we're going to forget things if we do that, or we can write things down, in which case we'll be using previous generation note taking. <clears throat> we were taught it at school and we carry on doing it now in the workplace, either writing down or on a laptop. Probably if we're interviewing someone, we're more likely to write it down either on a paper or on, on their CV if we're doing interview CVs. Now, that the more interviews we do or the more information in an interview, you can tend to get a bit lost, it can be a bit stressful. Um, if they're talking about something complex and we're interviewing for another person, that can be stressful as well. And if we're doing back-to-back -back interviews, it just gets worse. So I've done a lot of interviews myself and you know, particularly the more complex type of interviews, they can be quite stressful in themselves. Um, if I'm doing back-to-back -back interviews, it can just get worse and worse to the point where I don't particularly want to go and do interviews. Um, and I'm never quite sure if I'm doing a really good job. And then if I don't have time to write up the information soon, and maybe it's days or a week later, it's a nightmare to try and, you know, go back and work out what was said. And the solution is incredibly simple. And all it is, is making a switch from previous generation note taking, both technique and mindset, to a next generation note taking technique and mindset. And I'm gonna give you some of the, the four key elements of what constitutes a next generation note taking technique. And I'll do it with an example. So here's some information. Um, we need to find one quick technique to help interviewers improve their performance and to help them increase their confidence. And maybe I'm interviewing some HR person and it's not a job interview, it's an interview about what their objectives are and what their aims are. So the first secret is deep filtering. So not record everything, but just to filter out what, or rather filter in, depending which way you're looking at it, but to identify the important information. And here for me, I would identify find one quick technique, help interviewers. I probably wouldn't want good because I'd know that by default, improve performance, increase confidence. Now it all filter, deep filter differently, but this is what I would do. The next secret is deep processing, and this changes everything. And so here I'd go find one quick uh, technique. I abbreviate, it just helps to speed things up. Technique, uh, find, one, find one quick technique, uh, improve performance. And actually when doing this at speaking speed, it's a, ironically, it's a lot easier and a lot quicker to do. Um, increase confidence. Cool. Now, this deep processing changes everything because what it does by breaking up the knowledge in single units and reconnecting what I'm doing all the time is I'm asking my brain to double check it really understands which increases my real-time understanding, not only in the moment, over the totality of whatever it is, half an hour or an hour. That is a game changer. And that's called percentage RTU.
Now, cognitive neuroscientists have found that if people are using traditional note-taking, the one we were all taught at school, most people doing business, your RTU is about 64%, which is okay, but it could be better. And that actually is quite stressful if you're going to a lot of interviews. Within two weeks of using next generation note-taking, your RTU goes up to 76%, which is a huge change. But after a year, and it takes less than a day to learn this type of next generation note-taking technique. And after a year, it goes up to 84%, so a 20% increase. And if you're dyslexic, 87%. So basically, if you're in doing multiple interviews, your underst real-time understanding is gonna be 20% greater than all the other interviewers. That takes a lot of pressure off, but also enhances your performance. You ask better questions. Um, you're able to make better links. Your assessment's gonna be better. The other thing that's a game changer for us as interviewers is being able to not only understand at a high level, but actually have total access to the knowledge at a glance. So the more knowledge we get, actually the more power we have and the more we're able to ask really insightful questions. And that's called percentage, percentage glance access. So just here, if I was to write this in this format, previous generation note taking, or in this format, next generation note taking, where I've done the deep processing, I can access much faster. And that is a game changer because that enables me to look at someone and access what they've said now, five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, all in a fluid moment. The other thing that the glance access gives me, it enables me to identify the sort of major headings of what someone's saying. It enables me to chunk what they're saying into sort of into logical headings. Now what this does, each one of these generates more questions, it enables me to link information much better. And to give you an idea, so typically, that would be what I would produce on a one hour interview. This would be my plan, and this would be the knowledge that I would harvest from the interview itself. But I would be able to see before I left that interview that I'd asked the right questions, that I had a total understanding of what the person was saying, or what the person's like. And the great thing about this, I could do 10 of these back to back, no problem, and feel really relaxed and confident about doing it. Not only that, I can come back to this a week, two weeks, three weeks later, and be back up to speed to write up notes if I hadn't had a chance to do it beforehand with a moment's notice. And the reason I'm able to do that is because this huge increase in real-time understanding, and that stays with me. So, if you've uh, liked this video, then you know, please press like, but more importantly, you know, please feel free to start taking the elements of what I've described and start integrating them into how you do it. And of course, you know, if you want to take this introduction to um, Smart Wisdom and start using that, please do. If you want to join me as a fellow information athlete and learn more about Smart Wisdom, of course, do that as well. Um, please feel free to comment. And of course, please do share widely um, to anybody who knows interviews or manages teams of interviewers or has an organization in charge of interviewers where interviewing is a key and integral and important part of your day-to-day -day work. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a brilliant rest of the day. Ah, one final thing, on the sides, up there or down there, um, I put some free tips for you. Please just feel free to click on the link and you'll get the free tips. Thank you.